project is going to be nitrous. The first thing on our list is we're going to be pulling the throttle body off to put the nitrous plate in. And then uh, I have to go to the store. I have to grab a couple bolts because the factory bolts for the throttle body are going to be too short. And this nitrous system I have is kind of hobbled together. Um, I got some of it for free. Some of it came off marketplace. So I'm going to have to throw that stuff together. And uh, this is probably going to take a couple days uh, because, like I said, it's just figuring out what I have and what I don't have. Okay, now before we start, only 15% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you could just take a second to hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. And I'd like to thank you by showing you a picture of my dog when she was a puppy. All right, now let's get into the video. So I got the nitrous plate in. Um, I was gonna try and run the two lines, but like I don't know what this was called. I guess the beauty cover that sits on top of this um, was too tall, and the lines in were hitting the top. So I had to pull the top off. Um, really, all I had to do was pull the four bolts that hold the fuel rail on, and uh, just lift up on that. And then I just had to wiggle the beauty cover out. Um, so now that that's out. Next on my list is to take my nitrous and fuel lines and I'm going to see where they end up back here-ish. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take some aluminum that I had from the cage that was in the trunk when I bought the car. I'm going to cut that up. I'm going to weld it into brackets for my solenoids. Um, rather than buy solenoids, they're very expensive. So I figure if I can make some, it'll give me a little time with the grinder and the welder. And then uh, I'll just spray paint them black so they look nice. Um, that's my goal at least. And then uh, hopefully be able to mount the fuel and nitrous solenoids um, and then start running plumbing backwards. So I got a purge. My idea here is, is to run the purge uh, from like the valve cover area, maybe up. And I believe there's a hole in here in the firewall in this cowl. I'd like to run that up and then uh, as far over to the passenger side as I can and then just run that up out one of these vents. But up here, there's little square vents up at the top by the wipers. I'd like to be able to run it up in there so that way it sprays up. So I actually scrapped the old lines. Um, I hated them. They were actually way too long once I put them in the car. Um, way too long. I mean, almost into the cabin, it felt like. So we ended up talking to a local guy and uh, getting some new lines. So. We got a new nitrous solenoid to plate. We got a new fuel solenoid to plate with a 90. And then we ended up getting a rail to the solenoid, all brand new. Um, I think for the fuel side, we're gonna use one of the bolts from the fuel rail um, to help hold it down. And then we're gonna use one from the uh, valve cover on this side for the nitrous solenoid. All right, so next will be Taking all of the brackets that I'm gonna build here in just a second, uh, I'm gonna use cardboard, cut everything out of the cardboard, kind of build it in here, and then I'll transfer that, I'll trace it out onto the piece of aluminum I have, use my grinder to cut it out, and then weld it together. Um, once it's all welded together, I'm gonna paint it all black so it looks nice, and then we'll put it in the car, and uh, hopefully everything lines up well.
Okay, so the fuel and nitrous solenoid are in, the purge is in, I have re-ran all of the wires and then uh, heat shrink them. What I did was I just knocked a hole in this box over here, ran all the wires through in here. I did two holes, one here and one here. Um, I'm gonna start mounting relays inside of here. And then uh, I have to get a progressive controller uh, that's on my to-do list. But uh, like I said, next, we're gonna start doing a little bit of wiring with all the relays. And then uh, I think I'm gonna have these come in a zip tie to this harness here and then uh, see if I can't clean up everything up as fast as possible. Okay, so I'm not gonna record me doing this with a thousand wires, but basically I, uh, I went in and got a diagram of how this is supposed to be wired. Uh, there's about a million of them online. So I'm just gonna uh, throw a bunch of these together real quick. And then uh, I'll probably end up making like little loops in here to try and keep it as nice as possible, as clean as possible inside this box. And then uh, I'm just gonna heat wrap all these together so they look nice. But uh, probably just fast forward through a lot of this for you guys. So you don't have to watch this 7,000 times, but I'll show you what the end product looks like. Okay, so these are kind of boogery. Um, I'm not the happiest with how this section turned out, but this, I mean, once we cut all these tails off, I actually think it'll look pretty good. Um, you can see uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this, so we might be changing that. But um, I'm gonna put all the relays inside of there, cover it, I'm not trying to hide that the car has nitrous obviously all the solenoids are out um i would like to take these back off at some point and then uh maybe like trace the bottom of the solenoid and then take a grinder or something to cut that and make it look a little bit nicer um i kind of just throwing this together and make sure it all works like i said a lot of this stuff was like hand me down so as we go through i have no idea if the solenoids even work um so we have to test those two out the purge is brand new but the fuel and the nitrous like I said, these were given to me. They're a little dinged up, so hopefully they work. Um, I got the nitrous in the fuel relay. The purge is already in here. Like I said, we'll start cleaning up lines here. Oops, in a little bit. And then uh, go from there. Quick update. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try and keep it as nice as possible. But the solenoids to the relays are done. The relays to the ground's done. Um, I just zip tied it there so it's not flopping around. I think that's where I'm gonna end up mounting the grounds. I'll probably uh, sand that down and then uh, use a nut and bolt to hold it in place for the ground. Um, I just got my confirmation that my bottle heater and pressure gauge are in the mail. Hopefully they'll be here in, I think it said three days. And then uh, my activation switch for inside the cabin for the bottle heater and the purge and stuff. That should all be here uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and then I'll start running tomorrow the uh, activation lines from the relay to in the cabin. So what I'm gonna try and do with the activation switches, again, try, is slide this back and then get some kind of plate. Hopefully it'll go from here to here, all the way across, and then we'll be able to drop in the switches, run those under the console up through here and through the firewall kind of like we did with this uh, shift box so we will try that hopefully in maybe two days we'll be able to put that stuff together well my panel finally came in the mail so what i did was i just uh traced this piece out of a large piece of plexiglass um, i used my grinder to cut it and then i just spray painted the backside black so when i flip it over um, it should be nice and shiny and then i'll line this up i'll do my four holes for the screws put that in um, I have to run to Home Depot to get nuts and bolts for the new seat and pieces of square tubing. Um, but I'm also going to get more of like this Velcro because that's how I'm going to hold the panel on. So hopefully it'll sit a little something like this. Um, and then my plate will be right here. And then uh, hopefully we can start wiring that next because that's all I have to do up here for the relays. And that's all I have to do back here for the... Uh, bottle heater and the gauge up here. The gauge uh, pod should be here next week. Okay, panel's on, back's painted and it's dry. I ended up uh, just cutting the back out. 
painting the back black, and then we're gonna start running wires from the relays and the bottle heaters and stuff. Bottle heaters done, bottle heaters hooked up, bottles mounted. I ended up running all the lines up here. You can see the relay back here. Um, and then my, I, this is the ground I used. This is the power for all the relays. I just stuck it in there. Um, but I ended up running it all the way through up here. Um, I'm gonna end up having to take this hose and uh, the line and push it through the floor. All right, so you can see the line for the perch is moving. Um, after, I don't know, maybe four hours um, of trying to track down a wiring issue because I could get the relays to click off the control panel, but I get no nitrous, no fuel, no purge. Um, it all ended up coming back to a bad ground. I just switched around the wires a couple of times and uh, I took my grinder and I cleaned the top of this off to bare metal and now it works. So you can kind of see the somewhat nice mess we have going on in there. Um, I'm gonna go through and tighten these lines down because once I open the bottle, I can hear a little bit of nitrous uh, leaking out of one of those. So I'm gonna leave these off for a second so I don't pour a bunch of fuel and nitrous into the intake. Um, now that I got that working, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put the, I can pretty much close this up and then start working on the control panel, putting trim back and molding back. Um, I started working on my seat while I was waiting for paint to dry, but of course I ran out of line in my welder. So it's just been one of those nights I've spent hours trying to track down this, but like I said, I'm gonna start putting back some molding. Um, all that's done now, putting back all this stuff and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll end up, I think what I'll do next, just so we can be done up here, is I'm gonna put this back together. Um, I'm gonna poke two holes in there and then I'm gonna run my nitrous purge out of one of these holes here. I'm gonna run the purge through there. I just popped a hole up there, ran it through about here. And then it should come out right there. So once I get the call and everything put back together, I'll set the phone up and I'll hit the purge just a couple times. All right, so what seems like 45 days for me is uh, 10 minutes for you guys, but finally got this done today. I had um, my stepdad and his friend come over and help wrap up a little bit of this wiring I was stuck on and uh, gave me a helping hand because we are less than two weeks away from Indy. So he was like, gotta get this buttoned up. Hopefully here in the next day or two, um, I'm going to be getting the HP tuner so we can start data logging some of this nitro stuff so we can start running that. That's going to be my next video. Um, unfortunately, this one's going to be the boring one. This is just the install. Like I said, we'll uh, start doing some fun stuff here shortly. I still have a little bit of wire cleanup to do, um, but for the most part, it's in. It's ready to go. Um, right here at the end, I'm just going to walk through what I did with some of the wiring and where it runs. Um, so, like I said, the boring stuff. Okay, so the LNC, so this yellow wire, um, we'll climb under the dash real quick and show you where that went, but the yellow I used for the two-step or the launch control. We ended up not using the green. We ended up using the orange. The orange one went to the Winmax. We did not use the gray and we did not use any of the map stuff. I had a hard time on the 275s with the stock converter getting the launch control to work. Um, it wants to spin the tires anything north of like 1600 RPM. So converter is, will help with that, but it works. Um, that's the LNC box. So real quick, I'm not going to open this back up. You guys already saw what all the relays look like. Um, I ended up jumping the, uh, fuel and nitrous into one relay and there's a perch and now there's only two. I ran out of room underneath here for all my wiring for this complete rat's nest worth of wiring. So that's what's on under here. And then, like I said, my purge. All right, like I said, I'm still buttoning up a couple of things. So ignore the uh, rat's nest. I'm in the middle of putting it in a loom. But you can see up here in the top, that is gonna be where I fed everything through. It's gonna all run through there, up through here. I have to finish wire looming this. Um, it's gonna go underneath the console, up into the box. All right, so bear with me down here a little bit. This is underneath the driver's side. So what we did with the yellow was we ran the yellow all the way through here up to the toggle switch. And then uh, we found our brake signal through the blue wire right here-ish. 
um, that's going to be for the third brake light and it's going to be the blue wire inside of the purple um, like little plug. Uh, we wired that back, like I said, to this little switch here, the Winmax. So I kind of just built this little cover. My Winmax is in there. Ignore it. The complete and utter mess going on in there. I will put up the instructions here on the screen for a second and read through those. But purge is done, arm works, heater works, and then my opener is actually going to be my nitrous gauge. Um, so this is all daisy chain together. Um, I will show you guys what's going on in the trunk, but like I said, the opener is going to actually be the gauge. The heater works, the arm works, the arm turns on everything it turns on all the solenoids it turns on the wind max and it turns on the lnc all right so i'm going to read down the list real quick on this wind max window switch so the red is going to be key on power um so like i said i wired that into the switch plate so when i hit arm it turns on black is ground you just find a negative uh ground um, i ran mine off the center console the gray is for the tack signal i ran mine to the brown wire on the passenger side rear coil. Um, there's a brown wire coming out of that coil pack. Um, I spliced into that. Um, let's see, white is the throttle position sensor. Um, on the throttle body, you're going to have to get into that purple wire. Um, blue is the Sage One timing control. Blue we did to the ground on the nitrous relay. Um, green is gonna go to your Winmax. I'm sorry, green is gonna go to your LNC box and it's gonna be the orange wire on the LNC. Um, for my purposes, I'm not running two stages of nitrous, so I will not be using the orange or the yellow. So you can see over here on this side, you can see all those red wires running through there. Um, they run all the way up through here, all the way through, and then through down the floor, down over here. Um, I wanted to hide those real nice, but they come out exactly where this little hole is on this side. Um, but like I said, I wanted to clean that up. So this needs to be wire loom still. This needs to be cleaned up. Um, you can see all the powers for everything are kind of just thrown on there. Um, but all of this runs back to my, this is the relay for the bottle heater. This is where I put it. Um, so we use the green to the bottle heater. We use the white to the arming switch, black to ground, and then we used uh, this red switch here, or the red wire here for power. We ended up using the Nitrous Express bottle heater. That's hooked up. The pressure gauge is teed in up here. Um, I ended up turning the bottle a little bit because I like this um, cover, so that'll obviously be the top and easy to screw in. And like I said, our Nitrous line comes up here, runs all the way through to the front of the cab. So this video worked a little bit different than I wanted it to. Um, I thought I would film a lot more, which is why there's a little bit more stuff up front and then at the end of the video we kind of hacked it and then I just went through what we did on the car. Um, I thought never having anything nitrous, never bending anything nitrous, that this project was going to go a lot faster than it did. Um, I don't know if you could tell by my uh, clothing changes, it's taken me like probably seven days just waiting on for things to get mailed in, trying to figure out the wire mess. This video is the boring video. Like I said, next we're gonna go through and we're gonna start doing some of the data logging and tuning for the car. Um, I did take it around the block. These 275s that are on it now work amazing. Um, zero spinning issue. Um, I tried from a dig and from a 40 roll and uh, no spinning. So I think that took care of that issue. Um, we're gonna start talking to Charles Barber here in the next day or so and uh, start throwing uh, 50 increment nitro shots at it, which of course I'll record. That'll be the fun video. And then on August 12th, so about a week and a half, um, we have our half mile event. My idea for that is to spray for the first quarter and then I'll just hit the disarm, shut everything off and then run NA the other half or the other quarter for our half mile event we have in Indy. So uh, like I said, our, some friends came over, helped throw this thing together real quick because it was taking me forever. Um, hopefully you guys get a little bit of help on some of the wiring because there is not really any information out there other than their diagrams, which you have to mix and match with your car, what you need and what you don't need, and then both boxes together. So 
stay tuned. Uh, next video should be entertaining. The next video should be really cool. Uh, like I said, we're going to the half mile event. So stay tuned guys. Thank you.